Welcome back to Get Google Ready for 2024. And in this lesson, I'm gonna be taking you through how you can optimize your video campaigns. Now, if you've already gone through and watched my video campaign setup guide video, which is part of this playlist, you'll remember that when we went through and took you through the process of setting up your video campaigns, I explained how video campaigns are different to other types of campaigns. With the core difference being that remember with your video campaigns, so much of your success relies on the quality of your ad. And the reason for that is because with a lot of the other different types of campaigns, especially your ads that appear on the search network and the shopping network, within Google Ads, you don't have any control over the look of your ads because Google controls the font size, it controls the font color. So especially in search ads, the only way that you can have a difference in your ads is by the actual ad copy that you write. And obviously there isn't a high cost in that because you can test and try and it's just a matter of writing down the ad copy yourself. However, that is vastly different when it comes to a video campaign. And your business could very well be going up against large multinational companies who are operating with TV style quality ads. So what I do recommend as part of optimizing your campaign is to also go through and watch my video campaign setup guide because in that video, I also take you through the five core essential elements that you need to include in your video ads to get some breakthrough. Or what you can also do is if you follow that link in the description below, you can actually get access to my video campaign setup guide where I also take you through those five core elements that you need in your video ads for success. With all that said, let's now jump into a screen share so I can take you through how to optimize your video campaigns in Google Ads. Now, before I take you through the process of how you go through and actually review the performance of your video ads, there are two core optimization actions that we can go through. And this is reviewing your audiences and your content. And this has to do with who is seeing your ad. So let's first go into your audiences. And what you wanna be doing in through here is that if you go through, you can actually go through and see the audiences that you've added. And you can see here that I created a combined audience. So if I wanna see some further details about that, I would go into my insights. And then when I'm in insights, if you roll down to your audience insight, you can actually see here, I'm just gonna increase these rows out to 10. So what I can actually see is that the audiences that are seeing my ad in terms of impressions, the audiences that are clicking on my ads, and then more importantly, the audiences that are converting. And these are the ones that we wanna focus on. So the, what the process of what we'd be doing here is I'd be going through and having a look at any of these converting audiences. And then from there, you wanna go into your ad groups. So generally what I do is I'll do this in two tabs. So then what I wanna do is I wanna go into my audience segments, which is under audience, but you just need to scroll down a little bit further and you can see these audience segments. And what I wanna be doing from here is, I wanna do two things. So I wanna make sure firstly that where we're spending the money, so if I view this down by cost, that's also where we're getting the majority of our conversions. And if we're getting any audiences where we're having a really high spend with just no conversions, we can then come through and remove them. What I can also do from here is if you wanna add in the conversion action segmentation, I've got two different conversion actions running here. I've got direct transactions and also form submissions. I'll just remove that from here. And then the other thing that you can go through and do, see how we had some expansion and optimized targeting happening. We've only got a little bit of spend in there. That's where you go through and do the review from your insights because you will see these lists pop up in through here. So if you see any audiences which are not manually added in the, this section, what you do is you want to manually add them and then you can see the individual data. Whereas you can see through here, the expansion and optimized targeting, we're not getting that data. So generally what I do is I open up a note section, I copy all these audiences over and then when I'm in this section, I just go through and have a look to see if there's any audiences which are not on that list and then add them into the audience group. The main thing we're wanting to do there is follow the spend, making sure that where we're spending the most money, we're also getting the most conversions. If we've got an audience where we're spending a lot of money with no conversions, you can exclude them so that your ads stop appearing to those audiences. And the next part we wanna to go to is if you go to content and then go into where your ads are showing. And this, once again, we're wanting to make sure we filter it down by cost. Wanted to make sure that where we're spending the money, we're also getting the conversions. 
Now it does come to, you do wanna make a decision on, you know, where for me, there are some sites like YouTube where I haven't got any conversions yet, but we've only spent $300 there, so I'm willing to give that a further try. There are other ones that you wanna be going through and just having a look and just going, are there any ones where we're spending a lot of money and not getting any conversions? If say, for example, I wanted to get rid of this channel, I don't, but if I did want to, what you do is you press edit and then you can go through and exclude it from the campaign. The other thing that you can do is if you go into your placement and type app, this is a good way to go through through and review the spend that have been on apps. As a rule, I'm generally quite hard on apps. I found them to be the hardest to, to convert. So what I would generally do is if I'm just not seeing anything from apps, which we haven't, from all of this app spend, we haven't got any conversions. So I would just go through, select them, and then from there, you can exclude them from the campaign. So with those two core actions done, the next part of what we wanna do is we actually wanna go through and review our ads. So we go into the ads, and what you can see here is I've already added in the segment function for conversions. And what I've done here is that you can see we've already paused some of these ads because they weren't getting the conversions. That's allowed us to get more ad spend on this ad. And the reason for that is because this is the one that was already adding in the conversions. Now, we do need to work further on this cost per conversion, but given that we are looking at a product sale that has, you know, is it about six, $700, there's no costs involved. So that's why we're persisting with this as we drive down the acquisition costs. Now, the main thing that you wanna be doing when you're in this section is you wanna go into the videos section and when you're in the video section, you wanna to go to analytics because this is gonna tell us the dropout rate. Now, this is a long ad. I will let you know like that. This ad goes for about four minutes. I'm about to start testing some shorter ads that run for about 90 seconds. So the only thing I do wanna say is that this is very much a really long ad. Ideally, what you'd be looking at is that after about 90 seconds, you've still got about a 30% attribution rate. If you've got that, you've still got above 20% of your audience watching after that 90 seconds. And if you've got that, you've got an amazing ad. So what you're going through and doing is you're basically going through having a look and seeing where the dropout rates are. Now, the reason for why you do that is because we know that obviously in the in-stream, people can start, start dropping out after about five or six seconds. So what you want to do is you want to see the ads where you're dropping out and then you can go through and it's just a process of recording new ads until you get some better results. Now, this is the ad that was performing the best for us, but if we were to go down to one of these ones, you can just go through and see some of the different results and why we've been focusing in on this main one. As I said, that's the one that's giving us the conversions, but what you're looking at doing here is go into the analytics, look at this audience retention graph, and what you wanna be doing is you wanna be getting an ad where hopefully by the end of it, you still got your blue line above that 25% marker. And that's the process you can use to optimize your video campaigns or your YouTube ads, as many people know them in 2024. Once again, thank you for joining me. My name is Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy. And remember that if you wanna stay up to date with all of the best practices and how to get the best results for all of your Google Ads campaigns in 2024, make sure that you don't only subscribe to this channel, but also turn on that notification bar. Your support means the world to me, so thank you so much. And if you wanna go through and watch all of the videos in my Get Google Ready playlist for 2024, just go through and watch this playlist right here. Once again, see you next time.